Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 73 and in this video guys we're gonna talk about fire marches. Uh, the reason that I'm investing in my fire march or the reason I wanted to build a fire march this strong is that because it is so strong to use versus all kind of marches if you would like by changing a couple of skills. For example I used to run uh, a fire march that counters most of the uh, mixed marches and it was doing great actually however i decided to change this to fight some uh holy marches in our arena and i'll show a couple of reports unfortunately i don't have the reports that i fought against the hybrid marches using my fire march however the build was to use trajan as the main tank in this fight to contain alex from dealing so much damage which is to use physical shield and a skill such as life link where is life link there it is so using those two skills and making sure that trajan is facing alex at all times is gonna help you a lot to you know sustain some of the damages and deal damage at the same time however you need to change hippo skills as well and you can use here the two skills that you use that you removed from trajan which is uh energy rage blessing and the other skill that we removed which is energy suppression there we go so this is the build that i used to have against hybrid marches and it was doing great actually however the current build that i'm using is the build that i choose to fight against holy marches especially holy with athena because it is so hard to beat using my hybrid march so let's just talk about this build that I'm running. And let's just get the skills back to what it was. I'll show you a couple of reports in our arena since there is a couple of players who are using Athena. Just let me fix this. There we go. Alright, so this is the build that I'm using. This build counts a lot. On the first 12 seconds of the battle, we need to finish the fight very, very quickly. Uh, because once Athena costs her, her ultimate skill, it's almost impossible to kill the march at this point. And we need Hippolyta to keep costing her ultimate skill to reduce or uh, deny the energy regain on the enemy team. Because once they cost the ultimate skill, it's gonna be so hard. This build is not complete yet because as you can see, I'm not having the exclusive artifact for either uh, Empress Wu or signed duke so i need those two exclusive artifacts as soon as possible i don't really care about trajan's ex exclusive artifact but what i really care about that is maybe more important than Wu and signed duke is a third artifact for hippolyta with a physical attack bonus in the main attribute using surge artifact on hippolyta is gonna help a lot on keeping her to cast her ultimate skill at all times and this is the report that i want to show you taking a look at this report at the first 12 seconds of the fight you're gonna see that my fire march dealt an insane amount of damage so quickly it is almost at 65 percent right now once they cast their ultimate skills 32 percent so it went down to 32 percent however uh, I believe uh, Athena managed to cast her ultimate skill and then Loki casted his ultimate skill and applied the crowd control which is confused and you can see my fire march started to kill itself at this point of the game. So what I really need right now to make this strategy successful and to make it work in the future is a skill to deny the enemy team from casting their skills early until my Hippolyta managed to cast her skill and deny them from gaining any kind of energy and this skill is of course no escape no escape helps a lot in in finishing the fights quickly and looking at the damage taken in these fights you can see here 3 million damage from empress Wu, 1 million from hippolyta 3.8 million from hippolyta on empress Wu and 2.5 from Hippolyta, 1.7 1 1 from Empress Wu. Mainly all the damages or some of the damages, a big portion of the damage were from my own troops 
thanks to Loki's confused 40 seconds crowd control this is uh this is unfair anyway in in this situation you cannot do much but you know hope hope for the rng however if you have a skill such as no escape and you use it in a state of energy suppression or at least keep energy suppression and use energy uh maybe use energy suppression on sign duke in a state of war placing and use no escape on trajan you're gonna slow them from gaining energy for the first six seconds for the first six seconds they will be mainly uh, silenced and then you can apply crowd control which is done using no escape and then you can use the same march to finish the fight quickly i think i managed to win only once or twice and of course i was using boosts but again this is a chance that we can use and my fire march is not at its best shape yet you know because i'm lacking a lot of skills a lot of artifacts however you know it is just the light at the horizon a, a simple hope to uh be able to uh, you know to be at the same level with these wells and being able to beat them in arena so this is everything i wanted to talk about in this video guys this is the build i'm currently using if i ever got a skill such as no escape i'm gonna use energy suppression in state of war placing and i'm gonna use uh no escape and trajan this is of course not final i need to run a lot of tests and see a lot of reports however this is what i'm using right now this is it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day